The toolkit is a participatory product. It's, it's like PRA, but it's focused especially on forests, and it's focused in particular on getting the differences between richer and poorer people and men and women in the way they use forests. Um, the, the original way in which the toolkit was developed was in order to provide information to nav national level po poverty strategies on poverty, but now we think we can use it for RED by extending that use and by supplementing what we capture already with new tools. We continue to need the forest dependency information very much indeed for RED and we can use that in a new and more powerful way, but I think we need more work on institutions that might be valuable for benefit sharing. We need more on the institutions that are trusted and not trusted in that context by local people. I think we need to get people to think about how their forest is going to evolve over the next decade and how they see the interrelationship of agriculture and forest changing because that's highly relevant information for RED. And we also think it would be very valuable to capture local people's opinions about indicators on biodiversity and livelihoods for safeguard purposes.